So this chastity thing sounds great, but is it too late for me if I've already had sex or bought into the lies of the culture? Chastity is not for perfect people. And it's not even just for virgins. Chastity is for everyone. If chastity were for perfect people, I wouldn't be here today. But the virtue of chastity is always about today. The decision and choice I make in this very moment. There was this story once in scripture. It's about a woman that was caught in an act of adultery. These people, they caught her and they dragged her out into the middle of the town and Jesus was there and these people asked Jesus, what should we do with this woman? And Jesus, he looks at this woman and he looks at all of these people in the crowd and he says, let the man who is without sin be the one to cast the first stone. So all these people, they, they just start dropping their stones and walking away. And Jesus, he, he looks at this woman and he says something very profound. He says, they do not condemn you and neither do I. Go and sin no more. And there are two things in this story that Jesus does that I love. The first is that he completely forgives her of everything she's ever done in her whole life. And the second thing he does is he, he challenges her to live differently. He says, go and sin no more because your sin doesn't define you. Your weaknesses don't define you. Your failings don't define who you are. Chastity is about this present moment and looks towards the future with a lot of hope. Don't be weighed down by your past, by your sins. It's never too late to start over and it's never too late to choose the virtue of chastity.